whatever the data that you have inside the dictionaries are in unsorted manner with the help of two operators that is in and not in i will be checking for the existence of that key i just wanted to clear the entire content whatever i have in the dictionary so i will be using this clear method hello everyone i welcome all of you to the second session on dictionaries so hope you have seen the session one video and you have liked it so guys let's start the session without wasting much of your time so what is that we have discussed in the session one let's have a quick recap and then let's get into the content of today's session so we have discussed the creation of dictionaries so how do we create the dictionaries and also we have discussed how exactly dictionaries are working so that's what we have discussed with the characteristics of dictionaries so i will call that as characteristics of dictionaries so by now you know how do we create the dictionaries and what is the important characteristics of dictionaries so remember dictionaries are the pair of keys and values remember dictionaries are nothing but it's a pair of keys and values whatever the data that you have inside the dictionaries are in unsorted manner so that's what you need to remember so you will not have the data in a sorted manner is what you have to remember this is what we have discussed in detail in the previous session go back and check what we have done in detail right so what is that i will discuss in today's session i will discuss how exactly we can update the existing elements in a dictionary is what i'm going to discuss with all of you the second thing is deleting an element from the dictionaries is what i'm going to discuss with all of you along with that checking for the existence of key whether i have this key or not i'll be discussing that how do we do that right and also counting the frequency of elements dictionary functions and methods different dictionary functions and methods a very important part of the session is here so guys this is what i will be discussing with all of you in today's session so please have a notepad next to you write down the methods whatever i'm going to discuss and write down the syntax whatever the topics that i'm going to discuss with all of you right let's start with the first one how do i update the existing content so guys look here carefully i have the dictionary name suppose if i want to update anything so what is the first thing that i have to write i have to write the name of the dictionary then after that i have to use the square brackets then i have to write the key then i have to write the key is equal to value whatever you wanted to update this is the syntax write down the syntax this is very very important how exactly we are doing it uh, so i have an example for all of you so here observe employee is the name of the dictionary that i am considering here what is that employee is the name of the dictionary so i have the square bracket is it square bracket no please remember if i say the word dictionary you will remember the flower brackets so i have the opening flower bracket so what is this name with the quotes so this is what i will call it as key this is what i will call it as key after the key i should have the colon after the key i should have the colon and then i will have the value i will have the value so this is one pair this is key and value this is one pair i have then again i have salary and then i have uh, value for the salary and then i have age and value for the age this is what i have in the employee right so please observe my example then what is that i'm trying to do here please observe employee employee is the dictionary name then after that what is that i'm trying to do i'm writing salary salary is the key please observe i have salary here salary is the key so is equal to 20000 i am updating the value there i have 10000 here i am updating it to the 20000 so after updating this after the execution of this statement suppose if i print the employee so my value will be like this so look at the salary i have 20000 so previously it was 10000 and now it is updated to 20000 this is how i will be updating the values that i have in the dictionary that's what you need to understand in this slide right so moving on to the next one deleting an element from the dictionary 
I have two methods to delete an element from the dictionary. Let's understand how exactly I will be deleting it. The first method that I have is, so I have the keyword DEL. What is the keyword that I have? I have the keyword DEL and followed by I have to give the name of the dictionary. So here I have to give the name of the dictionary and then followed by that I have to mention the key. I have to mention the key. I'll repeat for all of you. I have to mention the keyword DEL. Then I have followed by the dictionary name in a square bracket. I have to mention the key. So find how exactly it looks. Let's take an example. Here, please observe. I'm using the keyword DEL. Then what is this? EMP13. That is the name of the dictionary that I have considered. Then within the square brackets, I have H. H is what? H is the key that I have in the dictionary. If I give like this, this age, a pair of key and value will be removed, will be deleted from the dictionaries, right? So the next method that I have to delete the, an element in the dictionary, that is using pop, using pop. So what exactly this pop is doing? Please observe another method to delete an element from a dictionary is using pop method. Right, so please observe dictionary. What is the name of the dictionary you have to specify? So, dictionary dot pop is a predefined function that you have to use. I repeat, pop is a predefined function that you have to use. So, within the parenthesis, you have to mention the key. You have to mention the key. So, this will be removed from the dictionary. There are two methods so that you can use whichever you want, whichever you feel comfortable. You can just remove. Like, you know, by using pop or you can also use delete, right? So, the next thing that I have is checking for the existence of a key. Do I have that particular key in the dictionary or not is what I want to check. How do I do that? So, listen to me carefully. I have two operators. One is in and other one is not in. So, I repeat, with the help of two operators that is in and not in, I will be checking for the existence of that key in the dictionary. So what is the first one that I have? Say for example, I will give the key. Say for example, H in dictionary. Dictionary in the sense what? Uh, dictionary name. So if it is there, my answer will be true. If it is not there, my answer will be false. In the same way, key not in. For example, H. Let me consider the key as H. H not in dictionary that is EMP1. Let's take like that. Suppose if it is not there, it will return true. If it is there, it will return false is what you need to understand, right? The next one that we have very important part of this session, we are in. So please take a note of all the methods which I am going to discuss because mainly the questions will come from this part. Or whatever I have done till now, that is a basic knowledge that you should have with respect to the dictionaries. But if you want to write anything, if you want to do anything with respect to the dictionaries, you should know the knowledge of the different methods and the functions that we have with respect to the dictionaries. So what is the first function that we have? So guys, let me start with the length function. So we have already discussed what exactly the length function is all about, right? The length function I am using here to check the length of the dictionary. So how exactly it is checking? So suppose if I have a pair of key and value three times, what will be my value? So will it give six because I have key as well as value? Let's check how exactly it is working. See guys, uh, the syntax for this method is len. Inside that I have to mention the name of the dictionary. Inside this parenthesis, I have to mention the name of the dictionary so let's take an example imagine this is my dictionary employee is the dictionary i have name john salary 10000 age 24 so i have three pairs of value right key and value three pair of key and value is what i have right suppose if i write the code like this len of employee my output will be three my output will be three it will count the pairs that i have it will count the number of pairs that I have in the dictionary is what you have to understand, right? So this is how my len function is working for all of you. Moving on to the next function that I have clear. I just wanted to clear the entire content, whatever I have in the 
dictionary so i will be using this clear method to clear the content whatever i have in the dictionary then what is the syntax of that look here we have to mention the name of the dictionary first we have to mention the name of the dictionary dot clear we have to mention the name of the dictionary dot clear so this will clear all the content whatever i have so for example i have the dictionary like this right so if i use a statement like this employee employee is the name of the dictionary dot clear so whatever the content that i have inside this dictionary it will be erased is what you need to understand this is all about the clear method that we have in dictionary what is the next one that we have we have get method what is the use of get method can you all guess what exactly the get method is doing come on everybody what is that get method is doing read out with this method we can get the items with the given key similar to the dictionary key if the key is not present python will give you an error what exactly it means ah, let's take a look so guys syntax for this get method is listen here dictionary dot get i'll repeat dictionary name dot get within the parenthesis you have to give key comma default how exactly it is working so look here let's take an example and understand i have this dictionary i have this dictionary so what is the name of the dictionary the name of the dictionary is employee so inside this i have a pair of key and value i have a pair of key and value so name is john salary is 10000 age is 24 so what is my statement here employee dot get function i'm using get function here so get salary get salary so salary is what salary is a key that i'm entering what is that i'm doing salary is key that is i'm entering so if i enter like this so it will give me the value of that particular key this is one other way of accessing the value suppose i'll not mention key here i'll mention the value what will i get i want all of you to check that right i repeat my question i have mentioned the salary here salary is a queue suppose if i enter the value so what will happen can i get the key is it possible in the dictionary using the values can we access the key i want you all to experiment that guys moving on to the next one dictionaries i have methods like items why do we use this items look here we have the example for all of you the syntax is dictionary dot items let me not discuss this directly i'll come to this dictionaries dot items what exactly this items is all about so look here items in the sense the entire this item function whatever i have this item function will help me to read the entire dictionary along with keys and values whatever i have inside the dictionary everything will be loaded and it will be stored in a variable so that's what you need to understand see what is that we are trying to do here so here we have the employee employee is the name of the dictionary and i have the content inside that right so that's fine you have no doubt on that right then after that what is that we are doing here employee is a dictionary name employee dot items what exactly it is doing so guys whatever i have inside the employee everything will be loaded to my list so i will be using the for loop i'll be using the for loop to access one by one i'll be using the for loop to access one by one whatever i have inside the dictionary is what you need to understand right so guys that's all about the dictionaries items what exactly the dictionary items is doing right so item function will load the complete content of the dictionaries is what you need to understand right moving on to the next one keys it's very easy if i i have uh, both keys as well as values inside the dictionaries i want only keys i don't want the values the previous example it gives me both keys as well as values but i don't want both the values i mean like you know both the key and values i just want only the values is it no only the keys then how do i get only the keys please observe i have a method for that dictionary dot keys if i enter employee is a dictionary dictionary dot keys so this method will give me only the keys whatever i have 
inside the dictionary is what you need to understand right so that is very important point that you have to remember so this is the output name salary age see observe here i have name salary and age i have only the keys suppose if i want only values then how do i retrieve it so observe here dictionary dot values there i was giving dictionary dot keys but here you need to observe we have only dictionary dot values is what you need to understand if i just give values it will give me only values no keys that's what you need to understand right moving forward i have update method i have update method it's very important that you need to understand the concept of update method let me explain this concept with the example right so i'll just read out this points for all of you what is exactly update method is doing so this method merges the key values appear from the new dictionary into the original dictionary adding or replacing as needed that's very important thing that you have to understand so if it is needed so it will merge two dictionaries if it is needed it will add or it will merge or it will replace or it'll override the content so how exactly it is doing let's check with an example observe here what i have i have employee one it's very important that you need to listen to me now employee one so i have the key that is name observe what is the value that i have john please observe here so the value of this key is john right salary is ten thousand age is twenty four thousand fine so this is what you need to keep it in mind this is employee one and this is employee two in employee two name is dia name is dia salary is fifty four thousand salary is how much fifty four thousand department is sales i'll just read it for you once again name is dia salary is fifty four thousand and department is sale this is what you need to remember names are different salaries are different department is different and here i have age here i don't have age this is what you need to observe the difference with employee one and employee two right so let's take a look how exactly it is working what is my statement employee one dot update employee two what exactly it is happening so i'm updating the employee one with employee two if i do this statement what exactly my employee one will be after the statement please observe my name will get updated my name will get updated so my name is dia so guys in the employee one name is getting updated to dia and observe what is the salary that i have here so i have ten thousand. but now after the updation salary is fifty four thousand. so guys i have age i will leave it as it is because there is no key that is age so i will leave it as it is and do i have department here no i did not have department and after the updation i got department also this is the changes that we have done to the employee one after performing the update operation and observe so what will happen to the employee two so name the salary 54000 department sale so it is as it is there is no change in the employee two obviously because i'm updating the emp1 so whatever you are giving here so that dictionary will get updated is what you have to remember so guys with this i have come to an end of the dictionaries chapter so i want all of you to practice all the methods what we have discussed in dictionaries and also just go through what we have done if you have liked it please like the button and then share it with your friends thank you everyone